I'm still in the game, baby. The old head's still here. You not even old. Stop it. I'm old, man. What you talking about, bro? You I've been good. doing this 30 years, B. 30 joints. How old are you? 47. Oh. And now on the Ebro show. With her this is your first little project. Yeah. Five, six? Five, six, six songs. Six songs. Mm -hmm. Ice Spice is here, ladies and gentlemen, from the Bronx. Yeah. Um, so this happened very fast for you. When did you, I mean, it seemed like over the last, what, 18 months is the blow up? I mean, I blew up really, I would say summer 2022. Mm-hmm. But, um, but you I, had some yeah. freestyles and things before that. Yeah. I put out my first song March 2021. And like then I did like the on the radar freestyle that has some momentum and stuff. And then like the munch trailer just went crazy. Munch went crazy. Yeah. We'll get back to munch. Because yeah. we're gonna, you know, you talk a lot of out here. You talk a lot of <laughs> young heads think you know what you're doing out here, boy. We're gonna get Yo, into I'm it. Dead. Wrecking on here with Lil TJ, the word out, you know, shout to Lil TJ, I love you, bro. Uh hang in there. I know he he's been through some tough <laughs> weeks and months, but um, the, the record with him, Gangsta Boo. Tell us about this record. I want to get into it. I want to play it. So, Gangsta Boo's fire. Um, R.P. Gangsta Boo, too. But, nah, I just, I feel me, I made the song, and then I was just thinking, like, who I would hear on it, really. But I wanted to be, like, a real, like, genuine collab. You feel me? We've been friends since, like, last year. So I was just like, yeah, like, who better than him? We both from the Bronx. Right. You know? And this record, when I listened to it, I, I didn't know if it was uh, paying homage to the late great Gangsta Boo, um, but it's just coincidence because you're actually talking about that's the type of dude you want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I made the song before she passed. Right, right. So, um, like, right before, actually. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that was real sad. Like, very sad coincidence. Speaking of a Gangsta Boo, because that's what you say in the record you want, a gangster, <laughs> is that that's the type of dude you are looking for? I've never been with a gangster. But you date squares, not squares, but I like it's just a regular guy, good boys and girls. Yeah, that's the you know, somebody, the way. You could, somebody you could, you know, tell what they need to do. You know, what I'm saying, somebody Period. You, could, you could boss them around. I need this, you I get need it. that. You know, what I'm saying, I'm a what, what's your line you like to say? Um, I'm a baddie, I get what I want. So, yeah. somebody you could kind of, I got you, I got you. <laughs> the guy, riot. He does all your music, and how did y'all like? How did y'all link? We met at SUNY Purchase. Okay, it's an art school. Yo, it's such a New York story. We talking about Grand Concourse, SUNY Purchase, <laughs> like what? It's, what are we you know, about? hometown vibes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so that's what we met at. Um, it was just mad producers and artists, painters, dancers, everything like that. For me, up so, at that campus. Yeah. Okay. So everybody was mad creative, just good vibes, and we just clicked. We have like mutuals. And he um, was just sending me, like, beats over time. Because I would, like, rap. Like, I was just, like, little freestyles, little dumb. And he would just, like, be like, oh, you should rap, da 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 like, on some serious. Because I was already, like, just around. And, um, yeah, it was lit. Like, he finally sent me, like, a pack that I was just, like. He was trying to holler at you, huh? Keep it real. Nah, Not he originally. Was, nah, he was really on some cool shit. Like, oh, it was really on some yeah, business. Yeah, you're cool. Like, he's okay. mad respectful. He's not a goofy that can't be around girls and nah, make it. He wouldn't be around me. Right. You know what Do I'm saying? Do you run into that a lot where dudes can't be around you just on some like business? It gotta be like them trying to holler all the time? Nah, cause I could read like before I even link them, mm -hmm. I already know what they on, like just on how they texting me or whatever it is, you know? So like I just I just be smart with it. Like if I'm not on that type of vibe with them, I won't even like Waste my time. Maybe we not even doing business. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna fake, fakely I, do business. Word, with I'd you. be like, fuck it, next. Like, yeah. it's mad it's around. Now, when I listen to this EP, you're giving us one version of Ice Spice. And I've asked around, like, about your rap skill. Mm -hmm. And so, what we hear on this uh, EP called Like, or how do, how do girls say it? Like, Like? How do you say like. it? Like. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is one, <laughs> one style. I'm told you have mad styles that you haven't mm -hmm. unleashed yet. Mm -hmm. So you're being real calculated. I mean, I wouldn't say calculated, but like I'm just going with it. Like those are six songs that I already made. 
So we pushing that right now. You know, fans going to eat that up. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, it's always time to evolve and, like, grow as an artist. So I'm not rushing to jump into another sound or rushing to do some different, like, if it happens, it happens. Like, I just want everything to be natural. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I just love You're not in any hurry. Nah, I'm not in any hurry. I know I'm here for a good time like and that. a long time. I like that a lot. So a good time and a long time. So the munch thing, I'm sure people have asked you about this a lot. Um, I was very appreciative of the of the record as, you know, uh, somebody who, you know, as an elder statesman in the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm retired from the game. I have a woman at home. But, you know, I, I, I have always appreciated uh, a woman who knew what she wanted, mm -hmm. especially from me, right? Like, what exactly right. can I do on your behalf? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To make this... When did you decide that you was, like, what happened for you to write this record? Like, what was going on? I need to know. Well, it was January okay. of 2022. That's right. And um, I was really just, like, I was really trying to rhyme a word with um, lunch. Mm. And I was, I just said munch for, like, the first time. Like, I was. So that wasn't <laughs> some slang that you and the homies was using? Like, not really. Not really, not. Got it. I had like just made that up in the studio, so yeah. Um, and it went crazy. And I didn't even like, you know, the song was really a throwaway for me. Like, I made it, and I was like, all right, let me put that away. You know, I was just, I was just like, it wasn't really stressful. Yeah, I was like, whatever, like you know, I wasn't too focused on it. And the people I was playing it for, like, I played it for a bunch of people, and it was just like, oh, okay, cool. They didn't get it. Nah, they didn't really. But then once I put the um like the snippet up, it started picking up like quick. Well, because women obviously, I mean it's an anthem, especially, you know, uh, you know, because dudes is out here talking about just using a girl for top. So why can't the girls have an anthem where they just use it a dude for head too? And I mean that's the reality. Yeah, like of it's life. a yeah, like you it's know. like I really don't want to be with you. Mm -hmm. You coolish kind of. You all right. You all right. <laughs> Earlier in our convo, you said both guys and girls, so you like men and women. Yeah. So at times, you've been a munch also then, at that, if that's the case. I, yeah. I've... Got it. I respect it. I respect it. And you're currently not dating right now. I'm like, I'm like playing. Bam, I'm not saying I just want to play. Mm, I like it. Um, And so is it for you, have, have you ever been a serious relationship person? Yeah, I have. Like in high school, dumb like, you know, I don't recommend that if you're in high school. Like just play. Taking it too serious, yeah. right? Just have fun, bro. Do you is it is it because like now that you're focused on work, you're focused on your career, it's too hard to actually give time Word. to a relationship? Nah, right? it really is. Like it be like I be even having to struggle to find time for myself really. So like how I'm gonna find time for somebody else, mm -hmm. you know? Like, even for family and friends, like, and myself, I'm still, like, that little bit of time that I be having on the side is for them and me, you know? Yeah. Come last. Man. Sorry, fellas. Or, I mean, or you can thank me for helping you out so you don't waste your time. Um, but they in the DMs, right? <laughs> they gonna waste their time. They gonna psh, every time. Why not? You gotta shoot your shot. Yeah. I mean, they should, because if the right one roll around, then. <laughs> so, um, DMs is crazy? Flooded, bro. So the the uh, Drake situation of him saying, I loved your response, by the way, which was, at least I'm a 10, though. <laughs> You're funny. That wasn't to him. I mean, I was just chatting. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Um, but he never tried to holler, though. Nah, not on no serious. On some fun. Nah, not on nothing, really. He was just on some, like, for me, the screenshot. You yeah. seen it? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's really what it was. I love it. I love it. Shout to Drake. So the DMs are going crazy. Stupid, you said. Um, and now there's a photo of you and Ivy Park. Is that how Beyonce reached out? Yes. Beyonce DM'd you? No. She, you know she's smart and professional. She went through for me proper like proper channels. channels. Yeah. And um and she she did everything right. Like I really fuck with her. She's so real. She's such a boss. 
So did you get to, did you guys get on the phone? Like, you know, this is a big deal, right? Because Beyonce is as big as it gets, B. And the fact that you guys have, so you're now going to be in an Ivy Park campaign, that's a big deal. Nah, like, it's an honor that Beyonce, like, picked me to be part of this campaign. But um, I can't say too much on it yet. So just, it's going to be out soon, though. But you met B. Nah, I didn't meet her. Oh, you didn't meet her? Nah. Got it. But the team reached out. The team and everything. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was smooth. It was, I loved it. It was fire. I love that. Yeah. Good for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Anybody else out here that wants to collab or work reaching out to work with that you could share with us? Hmm. Yes. A lot of people, but I don't want to share because... Because it's not done. It's, you know, I like to like, I like to have it done before I speak on things. I don't want to get people excited, you know, like we got to, got to do it right. But it's like a lot of artists, a lot of my favorite artists who... So it's, they see in the potential. They see in the talent. Yeah. You have a very unique sound, which is going to take you very far. Because Name of Love honestly caught me because one of the things I look for, like everybody could rapidly rap and do cute little slick lines. But when I meet, when I'm trying to like see if a, uh, if I could, you know, see if a new artist has like a uh, a long runway potential, I look for how vulnerable they're yeah. willing to be on a song. And I feel like Name of Love was like, okay, she's actually willing to write a love song and not just be out mm -hmm. here, I'm a baddie, I get what I want. It's real that I've been through, you know, like, we all had our heartbroken or whatever, like, it's not a good feeling. So I just like to let it out in a song. But when I talk about things, like, it's usually because I'm already over it. So, like, I just be referencing stuff that, like, I could remember from before. Like, because I can still remember that feeling. It don't feel the same. But it's like, I do want to talk about it because I know other people felt me. Um, When we get the album... When will that be? The album? Yeah. Most likely this year. So 2023. Yeah. Are you going to expand sonically in some way? Will we be, is that when we will begin to hear the different musical? Yeah, since I'm going to have like like 10 songs something like that or whatever, like definitely going to be different vibes in there like for sure. Like you know, I don't want to talk too much on it cuz you feel me, but um, gotta keep the secret sauce a secret, but being from the Bronx, being from Grand Concourse, having a—I think your mom's Dominican. Yes, I think yes. I read, and your dad used to bar it up back in the day. He was an underground rapper. Yeah. Do we he know was. who he was? He, would I know him? I don't know if you would know him. He used to be with, um, he used to be with like DJ Duwop. Yeah, of course. And like them. Yeah. Yeah, like on some underground. You know how it goes. Yeah. Real early, like in the Bronx. Yeah. You feel me? 90s? Early 2000s. Early 2000s. Real Got early. It. And so is that how seeing him, was that your kind of like, ooh, yeah. this is something I want to get Yeah, I'm not going to lie because like, like in the crib or on the way to school and everything, he would be on some, let me hear something, let me hear something. And always trying to like, <laughs> feel me, like push me to do something. Yeah. And, That's tight. Or like if I would tell him about girls that I didn't really in school, he would be like, write a rap about them. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to him. Yo, that's fire. Yeah, Yo, that's great. That's great. <laughs> My pops. Is he loving seeing and mom and dad loving everything that's going on? <laughs> yeah, they already mad supportive. Like, it's so crazy. They always been, though. Like, they're real supportive. I love my parents. Um, They saw this, uh, the cover of this project? Chill. They didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. <laughs> they gonna see that soon. How's that gonna go? I mean, um, I'm grown now. That's period. I'm, I'm grown. Like yeah, but they ain't going for that. Nah, they not trying to hit it. Nah. They, what's mom's gonna say? Let's we, let's get to it. What's she, mom's gonna say? Mom's a baddie, so she know what it is. But my pops though, he gonna black I'm out a little baby bit. Baby girl, he like gonna black out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he gonna be like, gonna do a different pose. But that's my pose, like for me. Name of love you said was based on a real situation. Right. You don't want to talk about it. I mean him. Word. Could listen to the song, period. He still be in the jack now. He still be texting now. Did he come back? Had to when restrict Munch him. Yeah. Wait, what? So Munch blew up and dude tried to come yes. back? Yes. He was on some, this about me, this da 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 Like, he said, this about him. It's not. So now he <laughs> think everything about him. I don't know. A lot of people do. The shoe fit a lot of people. I don't know. So Shazam, that's squad over here, that's our team. They have you uh, uh, declaring her as the artist perfectly poised to have a breakthrough year hey. in 2023. You feel like this is your time, this is your year? For sure. Now, do you, 
how do you look at the game like as an artist? Do you look at it as a competitive MC rapper? Like, okay, that's what that's what type of time people on. I'm a zig when they zag. Like, how do you look at it? Or are you just like straight tunnel vision? I'm just doing me. I think it's a little bit of both. Naturally, I'm just like a competitive person. I like this. Yeah. That's that rapper talk. I really am. I'm not going to lie. And I don't really like when people play with me. Like, you know. Stop playing with them, Ryan. Like, I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I mean? But um, regardless, though, like, I always focus on myself. Like, I'm, I never rush to do because I see the next girl or the next doing. Like, I'm like, all right, that's cool. They could shine. We could all shine. Like, you feel me? Everybody got their time. So I just like, I just really focus on me and try to be the best me. Like, now no corny, for real, for real.